Hi, this is Aime and today's video tutorial is going to be on how to create subdomains for your domain. What are subdomains? These are URLs that begin with um, an extension such as HTTP colon slash slash blog dot your domain name dot com or um, pages dot your domain name dot com or whatever the name you want dot your domain name com and the reason why is important to use subdomains and it will probably save you a lot of money is if you are a network marketer or you are an affiliate marketer um, you may want to use one domain which brands you or your website say your name uh, for example mine I'm com is my main website and uh, as you recommend products or other websites um, you want to expand on an existing domain by using subdomains and subdomains are usually included as part of um, of the pricing of your domain so you're not paying any extra money for those so I'm going to show you how to do that with GoDaddy so what you do is you're going to log in and you're going to go under your domain tab and select my domains and I'm actually going to set up a recommendation for iStock Photo using my main website, which is imaybalcannon.com. It's going to take you to this screen and just take a look at the bottom left here where you see subdomains. GoDaddy actually allows you up to 90 domains. So what you want to do is uh, subdomains, I'm sorry. You want to click Add. Okay, and at the top of the screen here is going to ask you for the name of the subdomain. And you just want to enter the word that you want to use at the beginning of your domain. And in my particular case, I'm going to use iStock Photo. Actually, I'm just going to use Photo. It's probably easier. And then um, that's going to take Photo dot com automatically and direct it to wherever I want it to go. So I'm going to direct that to uh, my iStock photo. Oop, that's not it. My iStock photo affiliate. Okay, I don't want to mask that. Um, I want it to uh, so that when it gets to iStock Photo, it reveals where people are at. I don't want anybody to be under the impression that they're still on my website. So I, I, I do that with all my referrals. So that's it. I, you put the, sub, the subdomain name, make it as short as possible, and is the most... Um, a word that relates to where you, know, you want to recommend people to so that they can remember. And then just click on OK. And then what that's going to do is in a usually takes about an hour or so whenever somebody uh, clicks photo dot com, then it's going to send them to iStock Photo and that kind of gives you an opportunity to somewhat organize your referrals and your recommendations and things of that nature so if I add a link to iStock Photo on my website I can either add a graphic and link it to iStock Photo or I can just tell people just go to photo dot and uh, it makes it for just a smoother transition and it um, you know, makes it more of a personal recommendation than just an affiliate URL. So there you go. That's how you would use subdomains and that's how you create them with GoDaddy. You can create up to 90 for free. So um, you don't have to buy a domain name for every affiliate that you have. Just pick one of your main domains that you uh, can relate to and that people are used to uh, coming to and uh, just use that as your hub and create a bunch of subdomains around that. It'll save you a bunch of money. So have fun with that. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.